This beautiful and fascinating mirror on display at the Greenberg Public Library was created to solve a problem for the U.S. Air Force. Boeing developed the Flying Boom, a flexible, semi-rigid tube to deliver fuel from a tanker plane to another aircraft while both are traveling at high speeds far above the Earth. The boom operator must be able to make many tiny adjustments in positioning the boom nozzle to dock with the very small receptacle on the receiving plane. This skill requires great hand-eye coordination, acute depth perception, and a considerable amount of practice. The boom operator, or boomer, lies face down on a cot, resting his chin on a pad. He sees the boom and receiver aircraft through the sighting window directly in front and slightly below his head. His controls are below the cot in front of the window. His task is to make an accurate docking of the boom into the receptacle without letting the boom hit the receiving aircraft's skin and damaging it. Boomers are trained in flight simulators, exact replicas of the pod in which they do their work in the plane, but they're on the ground. In the window, they see a 3D virtual display of their job. A curved mirror is a very important part of that 3D display and it was designed by Kodak. If you've been to a, like a 3D movie theater, it was as if uh, you were in your own 3D movie theater without glasses to wear. So. Wow. I knew that there was very few people left who knew where any of the mirrors were. I knew there was a spare mirror and that mirror, I didn't know where it was. I started making some phone calls and found out that it had been shipped back to Texas to Displays and Optical Technologies. Wait, what's I called up Displays and Optical Technologies. They said, oh yeah, we've got this spare mirror. They sent it back to us and it's sitting here and nobody's doing anything with it. And I said, well, would you guys want to donate it to the Greenberg Library? And they said, sure. The mirror was shipped to Greenberg in this huge crate. It was bolted to it and it was covered with a protective coating. Wow. Oh, is that neat? <laughs> I've never seen this. Where'd you go? We opened it before? No, no, I wasn't here that day. The mirror had been sitting in the crate for so long that the protective coating was probably very brittle. It could be made flexible and easy to remove by painting on a fresh coat. DOTI sent us a can of the stuff and warned us to apply it in a well ventilated room. Oh! Holy crap! What the smell? Oh, yeah! <laughs> open the door! It's open. So on the uh, edge of this mirror, where this bevel is, you want to take the razor blade and just slice away at uh, there with one, one shot and try to peel off the uh, black paint around all the way around the bevel, around the entire surface of the mirror. And then when you lay the masking tape on top uh, across the entire surface and pull the masking tape off, the, the black paint will come off in one shot all the way across. Right, I understand. Okay. Uh, is it necessary to have that uh, the mask on? Uh, I've never used it, uh, so directions say that probably for legal reasons. Right. The first problem was to move the mirror from the ground floor to the second floor. We tried to get it into the elevator. Hit the close button. The dolly moved. Richard begins prepping the mirror for its unveiling by breaking the seal at the edge with a razor blade. Right on time, All Star Woodworking of Thornwood delivered a custom designed cabinet for the mirror designed by Richard Brooks and here's the display top to keep little fingerprints off the mirror the mirror is unbolted and removed from its crate where it has been sitting for the past seven years 
Its resting place in the crate is going to become a part of its permanent mounting. Meanwhile, Richard is finishing the prep on the mirror with a little help from the Greenberg custodial staff. A little sanding and painting and the mount is ready to be put up against the wall. And now for a dry fitting, just to make sure everything works. Oh, perfection. Look how, how well that all fits. The back is now put up permanently with glue and many long screws into the studs. This will last a hundred years. Now the mirror is put into place permanently. It is frightening. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,